But you I mean, can. That's, that's right. But I'm, I'm not society. advocating ignoring him. You mean the me in stretch. terms of the media, sure. the media attention? Yeah, I well, just mean the criminal the justice system. Wanna, us as a society. Yeah. You know, you, we need to pay attention to this because there's there's something to be learned from it. Well, that's true. I think, but I, if you don't want to have to look at his face, you can turn your attention more towards the positive things that have come out of it. Yeah, that's I, a good point. I, I think the mystifying part about this is that, you know, this wasn't done in some political cause or, or mm -hmm. evil in a political cause or he was part of a trench coat mafia like yeah. he was in Columbine. Right. He was a PhD student just a few months ago, mm -hmm. and of all of a sudden he goes on this rampage seemingly out of nowhere, which I mean, I guess is the face it of pure evil. Snapped. Uh, because I mean, there is n not even something animating his evil. Yeah, I don't know about that. All right, from a court to a field. The NCAA is imposing a fine of $60 million on the university with the funds to be used to establish an endowment to support programs around the nation that serve the victims of child sexual abuse and seek to prevent such abuse from happening. Second, Penn State football will be banned from bowl games and any other postseason play for four years. So that was NC2A President Mark Emmert announcing the stiff penalties they're handing out to Penn State in the wake of the Sandusky sexual abuse scandal. The governing body also reduced the uh, team's number of scholarships and wiped out 14 years of Coach Joe Paterno's victories after it was shown that he turned a blind eye to what his pedophile assistant coach had been doing for 15 years. The NC2A did stop short of completely shutting down the school's football program, with Emmert saying that doing so, quote, would bring with it significant unintended harm to many who had done nothing, uh, had nothing to do with this case. Penn State president says the school accepts its punishment, which comes a day after the university took down the Paterno statue outside the football stadium. Jamie, um, isn't it nice that Penn State accepted their uh, their punishment? Yes. Can I can I have another? They asked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, look. Who? First of all, they, it's a functionally destroyed the program, at least as far as you can see. Yeah. Who's going to go to Penn State except the worst player who can't get in anywhere else? <laughs> yeah. It's basically a D three football school at this point. Well. Uh, the question is, you know, I don't mind the, the punishment. Obviously, uh, what they allowed to happen there is horrific, but uh, it's not going to deter anyone in the future. No, co no one's going to say. Uh, it's not like Paterno would have come forward if he knew what was going to happen or someone would have come forward uh, in their rationale if they know what's going, going to happen. Uh, that, the, the, the act itself should be motivating force enough for someone to come forward. Nothing else is going to bring it, bring it to light. And I don't, I don't think this is going to change anything uh, in a similar circumstance in the future. Were they too harsh on the, on the players? You know, I'm out of my field because yeah. I don't follow football. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think it is harsh against the players. I, th I think it's definitely a punishment against the players who had absolutely nothing to do with this. Mm -hmm. And they've, they've virtually destroyed the football program at Penn State. And I don't know what that does to all the students who go to Penn State and their sense of loyalty to the school and, and all of that, I think. But at the same time, I have to say, the entire situation is so repulsive to me, it's really hard to talk about. Yeah. Who, any winners in this, Kevin? <laughs> well, no, you know, the real problem about this is the guy who most needs to be punished, you can't punish because he's dead. Yeah. Because Joe Paterno is, is no longer around. Um, I think well, Sandusky. Yeah. Well, but Sandusky's yeah. already in prison, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 52 counts of child molestation was not enough to get him a literal death sentence. Apparently, it's not enough to get the program a metaphorical <laughs> death sentence either. Um, I would have been happy to see them entirely disband the program. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, it's hard for the students and the student athletes who are there, but they're not being harmed by the justice process here. They're being harmed by the corrupt institutions of their university. They're the ones who are responsible for this. You know, mm -hmm. the people imposing the punishment aren't the ones who have done done wrong here. Yeah, I was thinking the win there is a winner, and those are the trophy makers who have to get all the trophies all around the country and scratch. They have to do all new plaques yeah. for every. They have to reissue them. Oh my God, Bill, do you think they went overboard on this to escape looking soft? Because for 14 years, they they uh, appeared not to do their job or not to do the right thing? Yeah, but kind of what you were saying, though, who are they punishing? The president's already been fired, mm. and also, Joe Pa's dead, yeah. all right? And he was already punished by being called Joe Pa. <laughs> it's an awful nickname. Yeah. They're not, the, uh, the, all the people that were punished, that should have been punished are either dead, already not there. So what do you have left? An entire school that's been destroyed, and they have not done anything. It's ridiculous. We're so reactionary. We get it. Everyone who's been punished is either in jail, dead, or fired. Leave the rest of the school alone. It's insane. Do you, you know, the other thing, too, Jamie, is the schools that lost to Penn State that now won, yeah. 
do they really want that record? Because it's going to be one hell of an asterisk. No matter what, it, I mean, it's like you can't take that seriously. Well, actually, I think Joe Paterno becomes the asterisk at, yeah. at best. I mean, yeah. now every time uh, they announce who the winningest, winningest coaches in football history, there'll be an asterisk there. And you know the announcers will always say it. Mm -hmm. uh, Joe Paterno would have been there if not for this. <laughs> yeah. But it much better to be remembered for the asterisk than the guy who allowed the, uh, the, the pedophile to go free. So the asterisk at best is what he'll be remembered yeah. as. Think of messing with the record books kind of bothers me because the fact of it is you can't actually change the past that's the whole problem here yeah. you can't go back and make Penn State have done the right thing but you can pretend to change the past <laughs> yes by messing with the record books I mean it's just ridiculous it's, it's a silly silly thing to do what about those old bets I asked Beckel that earlier <laughs> like if you have a bet if you bet on a game in, in 2003 and you lost that bet uh, what can you collect on that? Here's the problem. Beckel does not remember 2003. <laughs> yeah, it's true. 2004, 2005, <laughs> iffy on 2006. Yeah, but here's how silly it is. Joe, Joe Paterno's dead. And they're like, oh, he's dead. He's dead. We have, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Get the statue. We'll beat up the statue because the real guy's dead. The thing is silly. I think you had actually. I want to go back to the bet. I think that's no. an important question. <laughs> I, I, don't, I think the easy answer is yes, they, they get the money back, but do they get the interest in what they would have invested in? I, I, what if a guy was going to invest in Facebook? He's probably yeah. worth oh uh, my tens gosh. of uh, hundreds yeah. of millions of dollars. Try, right try having that conversation with some Vegas bookie. Hey, you know, you, you owe me a little <laughs> it bit. Is a this, Pand this is a Pandora's, a Pandora's box. box. If you change, if you actually change the last what t 13 years of history, is that mm. what it is? Think of all those decisions that well, poured out of there. But let's not forget the victims. Yeah. It does absolutely nothing for the victims. That's true. It, mm. it, in fact, it's almost a smack in their face. Yeah. Like, okay, victims, for your recompense, we're going to disband or destroy yeah. the football program at Penn. What, what is that? And by the way, not not that the victims should care about this, but... Why people, would they give a crap yeah, but about... The, yeah, but people in the community who are diehard Penn State fans are going to hate them yeah. because they're gonna, oh, people running shops or wherever they are going to in Happy Valley, which is a strange name for this at this point in time, Happy Valley. Uh, they're you probably going to hate This it. is the problem with sports in general because all the guys who watch sports all the time, they're so caught up with the sports that the guys who were in charge of mm -hmm. punishing Penn State jumped in and said, okay, we'll punish the football program. It's not about the football program. Yeah. Yeah. It has nothing to do but with football. Really, really, it is about yeah. the football program in the sense that it was institutionally guilty yeah. of sheltering this guy. Yeah, well, those, the okay, the guys that worked with him, but mm -hmm. it still isn't about the football program. It was just the guys mm -hmm. at work In much the same sense that you him. punish the whole Catholic Church for the misdeeds of its, of its priests. You know, it's an institutional level of guilt here that has to be That's dealt right, with but I still well don't the condemn the Catholic Church. Yeah, but you, right. can, you can make the argument that uh, it was a it bred a culture that allowed uh, the the people that were involved here to rather put it under the rug than bring it to light because they wanted to keep uh, things uh, things as normal. But it wasn't so the football ended, culture that allowed that. Well, you could say that the primacy of football culture at Penn State, making it above academics and everything else, uh, yes, led led to that culture. No, I, th I mean I think if you trace it back to Paterno, it's Paterno that allowed that. And he was the guy in charge, and I don't know that you can you can land that on the football culture. I mean, that there was one guy who was in charge who let it go, and Turner other wasn't the president of the university. You know, what he it, wasn't the head of the board of directors. Oh, so you're, so now it's the university culture. Then. Well, the, I, I blame the ultimate well, frisbee. Yeah. Maybe it's the university <laughs> culture. Ultimate frisbee. Maybe we should. I, they weren't even aware it, it was going on. Maybe we should disband all universities. Well, no, you know, get rid of them all. The point is, I mean, the thing is, I said this before. If it, if 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 it was a dean. Would you uh, renege on all of the degrees that were given out yeah, it's just over a, the last 12 years? It's a silly symbolic thing that doesn't yeah. really, you know, yeah. you're not reneging on like Kerry Collins' number. contract. He played at Penn State, that's true. a lot of money, and I mean, I mean, this was before the time, but they're not reneging yes. on that. You're not taking like their degree. That's true, that's yeah. true. All right, we got to take a break. Coming up, me eating a plate of onion rings and watching old episodes of Designing Women, but that's not till after the show, and if you think I'm kidding, you don't know me. But first, whoa. Tape of hot chicks. Must be another story about the Greek debt crisis.